This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today. April 25th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Mars is experiencing global auroras. Auroras on Mars? Earth isn't the only planet with auroras. Mars has them too, on a global scale. Quote, Mars is experiencing its greatest level of auroral activity in the past 10 years says Nick Schneider of the University of Colorado's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, the LASP. In February alone, there were three episodes of Global Auroras, an aurora hat trick we've never seen it before. Orbiting high above Mars, NASA's MAVEN spacecraft recorded the auroras on the 3rd and 4th of February, 7th through the 10th of February, and the 15th and 16th of February. This animation shows the last two of these episodes in a looping time series. Now, all of the planet is being covered, but the purple is the sun-facing side. You can see also the planet is spinning. Schneider leads the team for MAVEN's Imaging Ultraviolet Spectrograph. The instrument that detects the auroras. All the purple pixels in the animation are a false color representation of the aurora's ultraviolet glow. Martian auroras probably have visible light components as well, but MAVEN's cameras are not able to see them. Here on Earth, we would love if auroras were global, seeing northern lights with equal ease from the equator and the poles would check off a lot of bucket lists. But be careful what you wish for. Martian auroras can be global because the red planet has almost no protection from solar storms. It lacks an Earth-like magnetic field, so particles from the sun penetrate its atmosphere with ease everywhere. The dramatic auroras of February 2024 were caused by SEPs, Solar Energetic Particles. SCPs are accelerated by shock waves within approaching coronal mass ejections. When they strike Mars' atmosphere, they cause it to glow. Mars is currently getting hit by roughly 1 to 2 coronal mass ejections every month, bringing a hefty supply of SCPs, says Rebecca Jolitz, a member of the MAVEN Solar Energetic Particle Instrument Team at UC Berkeley Space Science Lab. However, a CME doesn't actually have to hit Mars to be effective. As CPs coming in sideways from remote CMEs can light up the skies just as well. Schneider and Joltz are looking forward to the months ahead. Solar Cycle 25 is far from over and we expect many more strikes, Schneider said. This will give us a chance to study how solar storms affect the atmosphere of Mars, a key goal of the MAVEN mission. It's the kind of fun we've been waiting for, actually. So, ladies and gentlemen, global auroras lighting up the planet of Mars at least three times thus far this year. We're talking about the whole planet, as you can see here, the solar-facing side. But Mars spins just as Earth does. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.